What's up guys, for this video I'm going to specifically teach you how to program uh, Gen Mega when you're processing through Switch Commerce and using a DPL. And I'm going to use this sheet from Switch Commerce to help you. So it's going to be a step-by-step -step process and I'm going to put this on the description so you can follow along and use it for future references. Uh, for this video I made it, I'm going to make it so you can follow along step-by-step -step while you're with your ATM with your, when you're at home with your brand new ATM, okay? So let's get started. So for the default password, the master password is going to be 555555. And you're going to go to ATM op. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to teach you how to put the settings in. I'm not going to go into extreme detail or elaborate detail as far as what the settings do for the ATM and what it means. I'm just going to teach you how to program the ATM. If you have a specific question, make sure you ask me in the comment so I can get back to you. So if you're following the sheet, you can go to system setup and you're going to go to serial number. And for the, for the purposes of this, this is already on there. And you can see that this is the serial number for the ATM. So we, we, do, not, we do not have to do this step. So you can cancel to return, so cancel, and then cancel one more time. If you look at the sheet, we're going to go to number two, which is customer setup, which is in the top right hand corner. And you're going to go to change processor. And you're going to press communication, which is this button in the top left hand corner until it says visa frame. Once it says visa frame TC, 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 PIP, you're going to go to message, message format, which is standard three. It's already included in there. You can go to standard three option, which is the lower left hand corner. And you're going to communication header is going to be enabled, which is already enabled. You can go to status monitor, which is already enabled. And 12 se sequence number is disabled and it's already enabled for the TCP IP. So everything is correct right here. So we do not need to change anything. So we're, you're going to cancel, cancel to return back to the main screen. And for, if you're following the sheet for host setup, you can go to the, the right hand side and you're going to go to the top right hand corner, which it says host IP address. And right here, we're going to enter the, the numbers that are associated with switch commerce with DPL. So you're going to go to change IP address number one and you're going to enter 192.168.0.52. Once you have this, you can press enter and it's auto automatically going to do it for host IP address number two, which is fine. That's what we want it to. So we're going to go to the top right hand corner for port number one. And we're going to enter 8,000, 8, 0, 0, 0. That's for port number one. You're going to press enter once you have it. It's going to change it for number two, which is how we want it to be. Configuration is going to be scheduled. So it's already scheduled, which is fine. So once we're finished, this is how the, your ATM should look like once you're finishing this page. You're going to cancel to return to the previous one and you're going to go to router, routing ID. And you're going to press on the top left hand corner, routing ID. And it's going to be 123SC101. Once you have that, you can press enter and it's going to save it. So even if you cancel out and go back in there, it's going to have it saved. So you cancel out. And then the next one is going to be terminal number. This terminal number is going to be specific for this ATM. And this number you get from your processor, the person that um, your ISO. So I'm going to enter a random terminal number just to give you an example of how it should look like.
press enter and this terminal number is specifically for this ATM if you're going to put it in a location. So we're going to cancel from that to go to the previous page and the next one which I'm not going to do right now um, which is key management. Key management this is a password that you have already that you should have already set up and I'll enter it to show you how it looks like. This is password two. This is a password that you should know and have it saved somewhere. And this is key management. So if I'm not going to do it in this video specifically, but if I were to change master key A and B, you're going to hit edit and you would change master key A and B uh, for this. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, we're going to skip this part. I'll be doing another video on that. So if you're following the sheet, we're going to go to system setup on the right hand side. You're gonna to go to device setup and you're gonna press TCP IP. This might take a couple seconds. And just remember, you can always pause the video and so you can follow it when you're following along at home and when you're programming your ATM. You're gonna change mode to static IP and you can go to host, you can go to IP address. You're gonna change it to 192.168.0. Zero dot five five. Once it's that those numbers, press enter. You can go to subnet mask. You're going to press two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. You're going to press enter once you have those numbers. The last one is going to be default gateway. You're going to press 192.168.0.52, enter. So once you have those numbers and everything is correct, you're going to hit apply. It's going to say configuration store. You're going to press enter. So it saved it. So you can go return back to the home screen. And that's it for programming a Gen Mega when you're processing through Switch Commerce using a DPL. So this video was specifically when you're programming a Gen Mega when you're processing through Switch Commerce using a DPL. You can use this sheet that I'll link in the description if you want to follow along. Remember, you can always pause this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And um, just a reminder that I'm not going to explain, I didn't explain the settings um, in elaborate detail. If you have a question on what the setting does for this particular ATM or the ATM, then make sure you ask in the, in the, in the comments. I just wanted to do a rundown just to show you how to program the ATM just to get it up and running. So if you need mentorship or you need help on starting an ATM business, let me know. I'll see you guys on the next video.